in mixed models, if you fitted ordinary general linear models, regression, ANOVA, you probably have at some stage understood that the residuals should be normally distributed and there are things you can do to check for that. In mixed models, not only the residuals, but the random effects are expected to be normally distributed as well and they're expected to be uncorrelated. So these, looking at this hasn't really, it hasn't been studied a great deal and there are yeah, the simple checks that are suggest for, that some people have said in some situations they're not enough, but nevertheless, using the usual things, residual plots, normal probability plots, I think is sufficient to detect important deviations from normality. But the key thing to remember is you need to do these not just for the residuals themselves, but you need to do them for the random effects. So in the case of a residual plot, you would plot the random effects themselves against their expected predicted values. And you also want to compare these, that they, they're expected, the residuals and the random effects are expected to have the same variance between the groups, and so you want to check that if you've got different groups, then the variances are similar as well. So this is just some output from a study in SAS. First of all, looking at the residuals, and it's sort of thing you may have looked at already in sort of fitting uh, fixed effects models. That's a residual plot, and you want that to be fairly evenly distributed over the range. There's just one possible outlier up there. Apart from that, it looks quite good. This is a normal plot where we're plotting the residuals against their expected values as if they were on the normal distribution, and you want that to have a pretty straight line and I think that's all okay apart from this one outlier so we definitely want to investigate that outlier see if there was justification for deleting it but what we almost must also do is check uh, in this study center effects it was a multi-center study so the center effects were also fitted as random and we want to check the, this is a residual plot for the center effect so the random effects are plotted against the predicted means for each of the centres and that's the zero line here which we would expect them to be distributed around and it doesn't look too bad apart from one possible centre that had a low random effect down here and that shows up on the normal plot as well. So we'd want to investigate that centre to see if there's anything odd about it, whether that centre could be excluded or uh, if not try analysing the data, excluding it and comparing the results to keeping it in. And certainly when I did look at this, then the effect of taking out just that one residual made a big difference to the results, so it was quite important to check the model assumptions. I think the centre didn't, although it made a big difference to the variance components, it didn't affect the treatment effect results too much. So that's just to highlight, this, this sh uh, people often don't bother to do it, but there is a bit more to check when you're fitting a mixed model, and you should do, really.